Hello there, right here we have a brand new 1.18 experimental snapshot. This is number six. In this snapshot, they came out with some changes to biomes. If you're wondering what's all new in 1.18, check out this playlist. If you'd like to play in this snapshot, check out the link down below. In today's video, I'm going to review all the new changes and currently less than 30% of you guys have subscribed to me. So make sure you have that red button hit because if everybody who watched my videos actually subscribed, I would have over 20 million subscribers. They change how far down the new grove biome as well as the snowy slopes can travel down mountains depending on the temperature of the biomes down below. Now those two biomes are kind of transitional biomes between the peaks as well as the other biomes down below. So if there is like a really warm biome like this jungle, you can see that the groves biomes can't go very far down the mountainside. But in places where there is cold biomes down below, you can see that the groves can get a lot lower. These villagers here have some kind of weird thing going on where they're placing dirt inside of trees. In the last snapshot, they accidentally made the lush caves biome, which is these really green luscious ones underground, too small. So they went ahead and fixed that. So now they are nice and large again. They change it so that cold microbiomes are less likely to occur. That way you don't just have a strip of snow in the middle of the forest. The giant trees as well as the giant spruce biomes were previously thinking that they were part of cold biomes. So they were getting stuck in with a bunch of snowy ones. But now this is fixed so they will be sitting around other biomes of similar types now. There was some complaints on how many water springs there were coming out of mountains. So they went ahead and slightly reduced it. So there shouldn't be just a whole bunch of water spewing out of the top of mountains. They made some tweaks to aquifers in the snapshot as well. That's these bodies of water that are typically kind of self-contained underneath of the ground and have their own water level as well. The first change that they did is they added it so that magma blocks are more common to appear inside of them. That way, when you're in survival, you can come by and get some air bubbles just by standing inside of them. That way, it's a lot easier to do some underwater caving. I have night vision on, so it's really easy to see ores. The biggest change that they did to aquifers is how they kind of interact with the oceans and other caves. So before the aquifers are kind of separated with them being down low and the oceans being up above and aquifers are kind of separated from other caves. But after the change, it's possible for you to go from the ocean down into aquifers and then back up into some caves. And these are some great illustrations by Henrik showing how this is possible. Now in game, I actually found one of these. So if we go down inside of this cave here, and we actually follow it all the way along. It's kind of a long cave, but we just came from an ocean and we found it. It is full of water, but if we take it all the way to the very far end over here, there's this small hole, which actually, if you go inside of it, takes us back inside of an aquifer. So this is an aquifer with water levels that are different than the ocean. And then from here, you can go off into normal caves. So it does bring in some new possibilities of coming in from the ocean to go caving or being caving underneath of ocean and accidentally popping up into the ocean. Now underwater ravines are once again back in 1.18. They did this by using the cave carver and just made it be able to go through like sand and gravel. So now they are exposed instead of being hidden. They are going to look different than the old ravines, but it's still possible for them to have the magma at the very bottom of them. So just like you can make llamas follow you by holding a hay bale, they also made it so that you can make donkeys, mules, as well as horses follow you if you hold golden carrots, golden enchanted apples, or just golden apples. This will make it easy for making these mobs be able to cross water that's really deep and you won't have to use like a lead to pull them across. They made a tweak to swamps as well because of the past snapshots, swamps weren't able to occupy kind of dry areas, which means that if there was a nearby dry like desert, it would decide to place a chunk of it in that dry location inside of a swamp. So to prevent these kind of microbiome chunks of other biomes from being inside of the swamp, the main soil swamps can also occupy dry areas, meaning that the swamp will be more contained and less biomes splattered within it. Now that we know about all the new changes for 1.18, come on over to my Twitch stream and hop onto my testing server where you guys can join me as we try to find really cool seas and formations in these brand new worlds. And during these streams, you can even join my Discord and chat with me. You can find all the links down below. I would like to thank all you guys for watching and I will see you guys over at my Twitch stream. Bye-bye.